we hear tears loudly on this side of heaven. What we don't take time to contemplate are the even louder cheers on the other side of death's valley. It's not the situation, but whether we react negative or respond positive to the situation that is important. A goal properly set is halfway reached. Many marriages would be better if the husband and the wife clearly understood that they are on the same side. Many people spend more time in planning the wedding than they do in planning the marriage. It is true that integrity alone won't make you a leader, but without integrity you will never be one. You do not pay the price of success, you enjoy the price of success. Your understanding of what you read and hear is, to a very large degree, determined by your vocabulary, so improve your vocabulary daily. Dreams grow if you grow. If God would have wanted us to live in a permissive society, He would have given us ten suggestions and not ten commandments. As youngsters, my mother taught her children that while we might not be the smartest people around, we could be courteous, polite and considerate of others. Fortunately, problems are an everyday part of our life. Consider this, if there were no problems, most of us would be unemployed. You cannot perform in a manner inconsistent with the way you see yourself. If you want to earn more, learn more. I'm a constant learner. You need to be a constant student because things change and you have to change and grow. And I emphasize the word grow. I've always taught that a poor economy is the best opportunity for salespeople because the naysayers and grumblers have already given up, leaving more territory, more opportunities to be successful than in a good economy when virtually all salespeople are out there, giving it their best. Time well spent results in more money to spend, more money to save, and more time to vacation. Send out a cheerful, positive greeting, and most of the time you will get back a cheerful, positive greeting. It's also true that if you send out a negative greeting, you will, in most cases, get back a negative greeting. I believe that being successful means having a balance of success stories across the many areas of your life. You can't truly be considered successful in your business life if your home life is in shambles. Statistics suggest that when customers complain, business owners and managers ought to get excited about it. The complaining customer represents a huge opportunity for more business. Little men with little minds and little imaginations go through life in little ruts, smugly resisting all changes, which would jar their little worlds. Success must never be measured by how much money you have. A productive employee who is kept busy working at his or her job is far more likely to be happy at that job and less likely to look for employment elsewhere. If you treat your wife like a thoroughbred, you'll never end up with a nag. If you want to reach a goal, you must see the reaching in your own mind before you actually arrive at your goal. Every obnoxious act is a cry for help. If standard of living is your number one objective, quality of life almost never improves. But if quality of life is your number one objective, standard of living invariably improves. True success has more components than one sentence or idea can contain. Husbands and wives, have fun with each other. I'm convinced it makes all the difference in the world. Now's the best time you'll ever have in life to get ahead. The relationships we have with people are extremely important to success on and off the job. Personal discipline, when it becomes a way of life in our personal, family, and career lives, will enable us to do some incredible things. In the game of life, before you get anything out, you must put something in. Just saying you are better than good won't make it so. But, when you understand what it takes to live the better than good life, and you apply yourself, your life will truly be better than good. A lot of people quit looking for work as soon as they find a job. Timid salesmen have skinny kids. Many people who want to be great aren't willing to do the work to make it possible. It's absolutely true that unless you can instill discipline upon yourself, you will never be able to lead others. Being productive gives people a sense of satisfaction and fulfillment that loafing never can. Problem solving becomes a very important part of our makeup as we grow into maturity or move up the corporate ladder. Reading has been the fuel of my motivation, it has changed the direction in which I have traveled, and it has enhanced my creative imagination more than any other activity I have ever pursued. 
be there for your kids. Later, when you need them, they'll be there for you. The problem is not getting rid of fear, but using it properly. The one thing coaches cannot tolerate is the individual who grows arrogant because he excelled at a lower level and believes he has nothing else to learn. Goals enable you to do more for yourself and others, too. I believe it's important that we use names of endearment that reflect a special feeling for the individual involved. Courage is on display every day, and only the courageous ring the most out of life. New information makes new and fresh ideas possible. When you are truly interested in other people, you will learn what they are interested in and if they have a need for your product. If they like you, and most people like folks who take an interest in them, they'll help you find people who do need what you have to sell, even if they don't. I'm convinced that what kids need today are parents, not buddies. They need someone who will exercise mature judgment. When you make a promise, keep it. We need to understand the difference between discipline and punishment. Punishment is what you do to someone, discipline is what you do for someone. The right quote can inspire people to change their ways. Husbands and wives, first be faithful to each other. Second, keep the romance going all of your life by courting each other every day. A plan is always successful if the plan is good. Only men of character are trusted. Kids instinctively know, although they will argue to the contrary, that they really are not mature enough to make good decisions on some important issues. When you give directives to a child, especially a teenager, you must consider the nature of your child. There is a certain amount of dissatisfaction that goes with knowing your time, talent and abilities are not being properly used.